So you come out here every day, do you? Right. I think I missed all that, you know. I think I missed. I think I um, I missed some of the interview. I I pressed the button sometimes twice. <laughs> that was fantastic. It, it was. Uh, it's a nice little um, enterprise here. Yeah, no, she's all right. And there are many people. Yeah. Drawing out now. There are many people stop and have a chat? Oh, a few. Yeah, a few. So you well, haven't got any. Just when I'm not here, like sometimes I'm sitting out over there. Right. The amount of people that pull up and might take photographs. Yeah. It's not often you see a hut or stuff. No, no, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Especially a hand split one. Yeah. yeah. Is it oiled? Yeah, I put some linseed oil on it every right. year. Yeah. You don't have to, like. Years back, our hut's back up in the bush. A slab will last as longer than a board going this way because the water runs right. down. Yeah. yeah. But if you've got one yeah. running across this way, that's likely to give out. Yeah. And what sort of timber is the slabs? Oh, that's just a bit of gum. Gum. Or a bit of gum tree. Right. Peppermint. Pep a lot of the old hands used to use King Billy pine. Yeah. Or celery top pine. Oh, yeah. right, yeah. But mess, mate. That's what you call gum. Yeah, that's a hard. Yeah, that and peppermint. Yeah. Two of the best splitting trees. Yeah, they have that on the mainland. Yeah. And what's it standing on? This here. Yeah. This is macrocarpa, this. Right. Yeah. Oh. But it wasn't when the tree went down, it wasn't any like full straight run to yeah. do any splitting. It was too knotty. Oh, yeah. 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 And sometimes they twist. Yeah. That's yeah. some of it there. Yeah. So just two. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, it makes good oh, fire. Yeah. Good firewood. <laughs> it's good firewood. Oh yeah. yeah. It's a shame to burn it, really. But however. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Excellent. So no, we're, uh, you know, just, yeah, just because trees are there, it doesn't mean to say you have to go on and cut everything down. No. As long as you get a good splitter. And you've got enough on your property for that too? Oh, yeah. 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 Right. How many yeah. acres have you got? Oh, there's about... Uh, starts just down near the Waybridge. Right. right. So there'd be... Um, what have we got? Six, seven hundred acres, something like that. The family's also down the road got, got another property. Oh, right. And there's another one out at Wadena. Right. So the family yeah. owned three farms. Right. Yeah. And do you get many wildfires coming up? Not. No, we had last week there was an electrical strike across the road and set fire to that over there. Uh -huh. ah. yeah. well, oh. They they put that out. They've had six fire appliances <coughs> and a helicopter. Wow. <laughs> well, that was quick. Yeah. But like here, we're very lucky here. Yeah. Well, it's but, windy. Yeah, but back in the bush, uh, back in the bush, we used to burn off every year. Yeah. yeah. Just after winter. Yeah. yeah. Plenty right. of water on the ground, water in the trees. Yeah. But we're not allowed to do that anymore. No. So it's all World Heritage Area now, so the national parks deal with all that. 
And then, yeah, you know, we're pretty lucky here, like. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd like to see. This is on the Windermere Road. That Windermere. Well, let's spot the view. Spot the view of the church and all these tombstones. This, this one here is related to the Wing Zoo or look as a tourist place down southwest from here, it's on the map. It's the Wing family. All ended up here. And room for more. Swan Bay just near Windermere. And I think this is called rice grass. Just going in here. This is Egg Point near Hillwood. Hillwood's a little settlement down over there. And these are black swans. Thank you. That's that ugly house down there we saw in 2005. And this is the beautiful house. That office, I think. And there's the lead lights and things. They line up different uh, triangles. That's the that's semaphore. A semaphore all the way up the Tamar. Well, we had our fish and chips and a schooner or two. I remember we've been here before. Yeah, replica. Yeah, right. Did the bass and flinders. That's another, that's accommodation. Part of the comfort yeah. hotel. Yeah. And that's the pier mm. for the fisher persons. Mm. Oh, another coffee and a bun. 
in Georgetown. It's blowing gale out there, so I'll just get this bit of video indoors. There's the tide changing. of the northern part of Van Dyke. Creative out of one one tree. Scott Morrison's comments our today. This is our first big cook-up on, um, on Angler Stowe. Stowe. It's, it's even bigger, stowe, bigger stowe, stowe and everything than and and in Helga, isn't it? Yeah, but same as um, so Matilda. More and more people, such as Rio and BHP, they get on board. Yeah, well, same stuff, same poor burner. This is happening at a First Nations voice in Toronto. And Muckerite Commission getting up an agreement started. And down this way, we've got the whole caravan park to ourselves. I'll get a photo in the morning. Sun setting behind us, just shining on the sand dunes that go up around the Tomahawk and um, Captain uh, William Mount William, north east of um, Tassie, at 100 k that way, and here's the empty caravan park. That goes for miles along the edge of the waterfront up to the north. Ground site. See you at the cheese, you never know. <laughs> Good. Bye bye. Um, they're going back up to the cheese factory. Ah. The cheese shop or whatever. There's uh, two cyclists heading off. Are they? They probably don't have to go to the, the dump. No. We'll just go down to the dump 
down there. There's a recycling at uh, entrance number four, camp kitchen, herb garden, and the public dump point. Very basic camp kitchen. And this is somewhere along here. We camped in 2005. And it's all been rejigged in 20, um, 2013. So a view from a streets are named after local people, Charles, Mary, Francis, and we just passed a William. There's the jetty, and there's a fifth, fifth entrance back there for the uh, rampart. This is the old, old pier. So the park entered back there. Toilet blocks. Oh, is it a lead permitted beach? We'll just go for a little walk down to the ragged rocks. There's some more lichen covered granite. Way back, way back to low head. Oh, there, that could be the nut, is it? No. No. Yeah. Another headland. Yeah. Wow. We got. I saw. They got an ocean outlet. I saw that on the map. For water. Yeah. Probably sewerage. Oh dear. Yeah. Mm. I don't know how far you can see across the it's looking across the Mount George possibly. Just coming around to the mermaid pool. It's the old pier. to the little lady on the beach, the mermaid's pool is just around here. And here, the mermaids come in and wash their hair in this little lagoon and you can still see the, the soap bubbles left behind on Tuesdays, weekends. Getting some local knowledge of where the mermaid's pool is. That's the mermaid's pool, a little beach here. To wait for the tide to come in. There's a golf course over there where you can go and dine for lunch, etc. And the international tourists, Chinese and Japanese, fly in, play golf come in for a haircut, hairdo, and you know, buy band-aids and that's all they see of them. We got all the local gin from the lady on the beach.
local restaurants and they had a resort and convention centre which went bust. This is a Bridport. Bridport. That smells a bit crook. That carries cattle, which they're washing it out now, to the Ferno Islands. So they're toing and throwing with cattle, and they're washing it. That's why the smell. There's a lovely move. The um, tourist bus that goes into the mm. barn, barn boogle is full of tourists and there's a tourist golf coach. Those taking them into the, there it goes, Lost Farm. The Lost Farm was farms that were lost by the poor old diggers when they came back from the First World War. Soldier settlers. Soldier settlers got given land here and went broke. So this just turned into a golf course. We can't get a photo of the golf course for, for Roger. It's in the distance there. Truck. Must be a big mine out here. That's a milk truck, I'd say. Milk truck, well, it could be. Looks like sweet corn over there. Yes. A, a make believe green. Buy some more fresh fish. Oh, it's very crowded. The scales fail the way the fish. Hear a bit of Shakespeare there in uh, Scottsdale and get your computer fixed up just over there. That's what my mother used to wear, and I think um, Grandma. For sale, one hundred dollars. Vintage Coca Cola bear. One eyed. And just check out the salvos. The railway now is a bike trail, and we can view all these from the comfort of, the, of our Angler Merc. Oops. Probably annoy the neighbours by pausing outside their window here. One of the Prime Ministers, is it? Yeah. yeah. They have some of the most photographed gnomes 
across here. The most photographed gnomes in Australia. bus go and I'll go and check out this little lookout looks a bit dead well every vandal in the country's been to the little plains lookout changing landscapes Changing signposts. 
Oh, it's a big logging area. Oh, we found Iron Gina, Iron Garner, and there's a Mr. Slops who wanders down to the pub, according to the offbeat Australia. the feed for the and the, the cows wander in and get milked by the computer all computer controls caravan park up there somewhere along here's the pub where the, the pig goes and feeds there it is the pub in the paddock the Bureau, um, but to be honest I've just spent too much time this afternoon watching a very very short clip of Josh Frydenberg and Kenneth Hayne and I, I would recommend watching that frankly. <laughs>